They call him the millennial farmer or the Kylie Jenner of farming because farming is hot these days. Check out Zach from Minnesota giving us a peek inside life on the farm today. Got her topped off with some go-go juice. My peanut butter and jelly sandwich has two top buns. I'm Zach Johnson. This is my wife, Becky. We are sixth generation family farmers from West Central Minnesota. And in the spring of 2016, we started a YouTube channel with the idea of reaching general consumers about what happens on the family farms here in America. You want that, Isla? So myself, not growing up on a farm, there's a lot of things that I haven't known over the years. And I think sometimes I may be his sample product as to, you know, putting it into words. Scouting for soybean aphids. They're a very tiny insect, but they're kind of a bright green, so they are pretty easy to see. Some of the stuff we've shown on the channel include getting a tractor stuck. Oh, I'm sliding. Oh, I'm sliding. This is a large machine to be sliding down a hill. I can't do anything. What a mess. We struggled harvesting down corn in the snow before. Raising our family on the farm. <laughs> Have fun, keep it under 100. How our tractors work. Is that pretty fun to mess with, Isla? How not to change an oil filter. We did not put this oil filter Ooh. on in our shop. As you can see, I was struggling a bit to get this oil filter off. <laughs> There's no doubt about it, our most popular videos are the videos with big green equipment in it. We've got an old stone boat, which is basically a steel sled that you put giant rocks on and you drag them off the field. As you can see, it's a very fancy piece of machinery, giant steel slab with a chain on it. Farming is definitely not just a two month process. It is a 12 month job. In the last hundred years, farming has gone from about 40% of the population down to now less than one and a half percent. But the truth is we're actually creating more products, more food, fiber, and fuel on less ground than what we farmed a hundred years ago. Consumers are concerned about making sure that food is safe. These tanks are used to hold only water. We never want any chemical in those tanks because we've got specific chemicals that we have to use with specific crops. Some of the common comments that stick with me are how they've been born and raised in a big city and somehow or another they found my channel and now they're hooked on watching farming and I've had moms come up to me and tell me that uh, I've made farming cool. It's go time. That's it. I'm done. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Keep it between the rows. Let's plant some more corn. Wow, I guess farming can be pretty hot. I think it's a little too late for me to change professions, but uh, well done.